Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly <clears throat> how to tie a soft tackle. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to start with our thread base here. Start at the front. And this is a very basic pattern, which is cool because it's also super, super effective. And what we're going to do here. There's a couple ways you can do the, the peacock. It's always a good idea, but we just have some peacock curl here. But it's a good idea to strengthen this because it can break on you. So <clears throat> there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, what we're gonna do here, one way I showed you earlier was using the thread base or using the, um, you know, the loop and then wrapping that thread. And we're gonna use some really fine copper wire here just to show you there's a few different ways to do it. And this is nice because you won't really be able to see it, but it'll protect it. So we'll wrap this in just like this. Just right on top. And we're gonna counter wrap this. So I'll go back here, then we'll take a clump of some peacock, which take probably probably about four or five of these guys. Again, like we talked about before, you want to cut off the lower ends. These guys in here, these little, these little guys. Take that, I'll throw one more in here. It's, I got about five of those guys. Tie those in on top. They're really nice and easy to tie with. It's just, to make sure to protect them so they don't break on you. So we'll just start wrapping. Wrap one, two, check on the back, three. Yeah, and I used, I could have used probably less on this one, but I like to have it sometimes nice and full. Let's do our wraps there, two, three. Tie it off that off and then we'll cut off the excess there. Then we're going to counter wrap this. So we're going to go the opposite way. So it secures that peacock and as you can see it just kind of blends in. You can't even see it. But the counter wrapping now protects that peacock so if a fish does bite it we're not going to lose or fly. Take this off, snip that off. Okay, now we're ready for the really the final part. We're going to take some partridge, and there's a few different ways you can get this. Um, this is from a partridge cape. Um, right here, which I've been using a bunch of the feathers kind of on the lower um, bottom part, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So when you use this, there's a few ways to do it. Usually the best way to do it is to tie it in from the tip. So I'm going to make an anchor up here. Make an anchor. Then I'm going to tie it in right there. And then, and then when we wrap, see there's a bend. You can see the bend. We're gonna it goes that way. So the bend is um, so it's con oh I guess I don't want to confuse you here, but I'm gonna also strip off the little soft materials. We don't want that stuff on there. Again, so now we've got our little, and you can see these lower ones are a little bit long, so we're going to use probably just this upper part as we go. So, so again, I'm going to make make my anchor just like that. I'm going to tie that in right on top. You got to be careful of these because they will 
break on you if you pull too hard. So I'm just going to tie that in. Two, three. I'll cut that off. So we got our. We got that in now. We can find our hackle pliers. We're going to want to tie this in. Do the hackle pliers in here. Now when we spin it, we're just going to go really gently. There's one. And as you wrap up, you can kind of pull back. It's okay. Sometimes, like this one, is going to be a little bit oversized. You have some pretty long hackles, and that's okay. Sometimes that's even better. So that's it. Just a couple of wraps. Two or three is all you need. And then I'm going to come back in, cut off that. And then the final part is really just pulling this back again, using your fingers like this get the three fingers together like this and then you put them on here and you just pull back like this and you wrap back over it just to just a little bit just like that finish up our head there we go then I'm going to do just a little whip finish without a tool. Two, three, four. A little straggler on there. I'll get cut off here in a sec. Cut that off. And there you go. As you can see, you got this nice little soft tackle. It's got pretty long, um, you know, nice long hackles that come back past the body you know there are times where you can go shorter if you want but that is a, a killer little wet fly so and uh, we are going to move on to our next uh, next video here in a sec so um, that is the peacock soft tackle <laughs>